James, thanks for your time. What is the mood like within the group? Being able to get another really close win, and it is so important in this run home, given how tight the ladder is. Yeah, I think the boys are uh, pretty happy in here. A few jokes and uh, got to sing the song, but yeah, it's great to uh, get that win. And I think now we're two games clear on, on top of the ladder, so that put us in a good stead uh, for the rest of the year and, and going into finals. Hey, uh, Chip. Brownie here, great job on Buddy Franklin tonight. Uh, did you, well, you certainly would have been aware that he played up the field last week in the win against Geelong, only kicked the one goal. You would have certainly planned for that. And, mate, you've had a pretty good record against Buddy. What do you put it down to? Uh, I'm not really sure, mate. He's a, he's a superstar player. Um, I guess you've just got to be on your game um, every week when, you, when you're up against players such quality as Buddy. Um, I got lucky, missed a couple of goals early, so, um, yeah, probably just a bit of a luck, really. Chief Dermot here, congratulations on the win. At half time, I think you were about plus 26 for marks. You were massaging the ball around. They weren't really getting to you and really hammering that. In the second half, especially the third quarter, they turned the table on you and applied your own game to you guys. They massaged the ball around. Clark, I speak about that at three quarter time and say deny them use of the footy. Yeah, I think uh, he came in half time, he said, you know, we're using the ball very well, we're getting a lot of uncontested marks, and I guess that's how we like to play. Um, you just control the ball and um, yeah, get in the side four to our 50 to our dangerous um, players in there. But, yeah, they did turn around the third quarter. Um, I actually can't remember what Clark said, to be honest, in the third quarter, but probably something like that. <laughs> yeah, don't listen to coaches, James. That's the way to go. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. Uh, do you just feel like you're getting towards the finals? Does it feel like you're actually feeling like a, a good final stem? I know you are, but does it feel like it was last year? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, I think we're, we're playing good footy, as you can tell. We've, I think we've only lost three or four, four games for the year, so um, if we keep doing that uh, for the rest of the year and you know, don't drop many more games, um, like I said before, put ourselves in a good stead for um, playing finals and hopefully top two and top four, so um, that's the ultimate, ga uh, ultimate uh, goal. Chip, we were just discussing before, it's an absolute luxury to have someone like Brendan Whitecross come in and play the role just perfectly. I mean, he's been out of it for a year, steps in, looks comfortable at the level and plays the role excellently. Yeah, I guess that's the, uh, the benefit of having a, a good uh, VFL side with Box Hill. Um, you know, if injuries happen um, or, you know, someone's in bad form, someone comes in and uh, just plays their role and uh, steps up for the team and when they need it, like Waddy tonight, I think John O'Rourke and Gus Littleland all come in and they all perform the role and, and play well. Chip, we saw pre-game your interview with Brian Lake. We want to know, on that <laughs> car ride, were you fearing for your life with Brian's driving skills? I was, actually. Uh, he's trying to show off uh, in front of a few of the boys and <laughs> did a bit of a burnout, and uh, he nearly put it into the, uh, the curb, so <laughs> he needs to, I think he needs to work on those driving skills, I think. <laughs> Did he talk about himself much? That's all we talked about, mate. Uh, <laughs> all we could talk about was he's uh, smothered in the grand final. He wouldn't get over mm. it. I was like... Mate, you've, you've retired for a year now. you just got to get over it, I think. James, thank you so much for joining us. Enjoy the win, and we look forward to seeing you in action again next week. All right, thanks for that. Well, Guys, some